Giant Mushroom Tree says, I struggle with emotional emptiness, abandonment issues, and having low self-worth. This makes my walk hard because my cup is always empty. God won't answer my prayers. Any advice? Yeah. Uh, Giant Mushroom Tree, I don't know you. I have to just guess at a couple things here, so forgive me if I'm off base at all. It's not my intention. But I also don't like pat advice that doesn't help people. <clears throat> I've seen enough of that. I've seen the kind of advice where people hear me saying this to you. They would go, oh, good answer, Mike, good answer. And you'd be like, thanks. No, I didn't help at all. So I'm interested in what might actually help. So let me take some guesses, fill in your background info in my head a little bit, and I'll suggest a couple things. Um, one of the biggest issues for, for I think, for people who deal with like emotional emptiness, abandonment issues, low self-worth, um, believing that God's not answering your prayer, that kind of thing is, is in the faith category. Uh, but not maybe not like you think. I'm not saying you lack faith. You're just not having enough faith. You'd feel better if you believed more. I'm not really, I don't mean that. Sometimes, okay. I remember thinking that after I sinned when I was younger, that I was like, my relationship with God was broken. And I, I kind of had to live good for a few days or a week or whatever before we were okay again. And during that time where I felt like it was broken, I didn't want to pray. I, I felt uncomfortable praying. I felt ashamed in praying and all that. I wondered if God still loved me. I genuinely did. I was like, does he still love me? And then I would go to church. There'd be a time of worship. And I just felt like God loved me. And I, I don't know whether it was the teaching or reading the word or the worship time. And I just was like, God, you do love me. And I felt relieved. And I felt like now I can pray to you. All of that was all in my head. God loved me the whole time. And what changed it for me was when I got to, and I'm giving you this story for a reason, but when I got to scripture that told me that, and it sunk in so hard, but it stuck with me forever, that the cross is God's message that he still loves me, constantly loves me. We know he loves us because he gave his son to die for us. And that love is constant. He knew all your sin from the beginning. When I realized this, this was a theological fact of reality, that God's love for me is continually, is, 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 is continual and is is constant and that in christ that is as i as i have christ i have god's love for me and he gives his spirit to me he gave his son to die for me and any time after that i started to doubt does god really care about me does he really love me maybe because of my own issues maybe because of my own family issues mm -hmm. not feeling loved not feeling cared for you know in the past um, and having major problems stuff i don't talk about too much because i don't want to embarrass my family members I love them and I don't want to get into the stories, but let's just say I get it. Um, but um, but when I when I go through that stuff, I go, but I have this anchor. I know God loves me because his word tells me he does. And this is where faith comes in. Because faith says, I don't feel like you love me, but I know you love me. So I'm going to choose to believe that and trust you. What I see a lot of times, people who deal with low self-worth, it's not that they haven't been told the right things. It's that they don't trust those things. They think because I don't feel like I'm loved, therefore I'm not. But that's a way of believing your own heart, your own admittedly stupid heart, <laughs> over the fact of God's word and the demonstration of his love in the cross of Christ. You're believing your emotional fears. And it's you that's causing your whole issue. Now, maybe those emotional fears have been fed into through trauma and suffering of the past. But can you allow the truth of God's love through the cross of Christ to tell you this is the constant love of God for you? This is the value that he placed in you. It wasn't in you to start, but he placed in you as he purchased you and bought you. And he put the blood of Christ on you. So you have Christ's righteousness and you're his. What I'm saying is when you struggle with emotional emptiness, abandonment issues, low self-worth, thinking that God doesn't hear your prayers. These things are answered by the clear teachings of scripture and there's a battle to just believe what God has said and to tell yourself, so what if my emotions don't agree? I'm choosing to trust this anyways. That to me is real actionable and real helpful advice, I think, and I hope that it blesses you. It's, it blesses me.